what's up everyone welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek and it's been a while I know uh, we've been doing some live streams and stuff like that lately so hopefully you know you guys have been enjoying those and we had you know some of the demo from Resident Evil Village coming up um, that we have one more demo coming up in a couple days but we did a couple recently as well so again hopefully you've enjoyed the live streams while I was waiting for more news and stuff for the movie to come out and today we got a little piece of news from our friend Chad Rook over on Instagram he posted this image here uh, showing that he is actually in the middle of playing Resident Evil 2, the remake, which is really cool, and he's just having some fun. But the reason he posted that is because he is prepping for reshoots. So it looks like they're going to be doing uh, a couple of reshoot scenes. This happens with every movie. I know a lot of people sometimes when they hear the words reshoots, they're like, oh, wow, it's the movie's a mess. You know, there's all these problems, and it's not that at all. It's like sometimes you have your script. You're filming stuff on the day. Sometimes you're adding things in. People might improvise stuff and you get to the cutting room. You start putting everything together and you're like, you know what? We kind of added something here or we shot a little longer on this and it doesn't work. We might need something additional to help set that up so it can pay off better. Or we got the like, audio issue like that we didn't realize on the day. We had some kind of audio issue there. So we got to go back and, and redo that one scene uh, just the way we did it, just with better audio. I mean, there's a million reasons why you would have to do reshoots or pickup shots. So it doesn't mean like doom or gloom like everyone thinks it does uh, a lot of times. So it's a pretty standard process in the filming uh, you know, process, filmmaking process, because uh, you'll usually budget yourself for that. You're like, okay, here's the budget for actors and you know and uh you know craft service and all these different departments and and here's our you know overall uh, production budget but then they also leave some wiggle room in for reshoots or pickup shots in case you need them so again pretty standard stuff so anyway i just thought this was cool because the movie obviously got pushed back to november for thanksgiving uh, and so i was wondering what they were going to do with some of that extra time and now that they're laying out the movie and they're working on the CGI for the creatures and stuff like that, which we heard recently at the Resident Evil Showcase, now we got, you know, some you know updates here of like what some of the actors are doing. And a couple of them are doing reshoots. Not all of them, but I think just a couple. And one of them is Chad Rook. So that's very cool. So I'm glad he shared that with us. So we kind of, again, have a place in the timeline of where they are in post-production. So if they're feeling comfortable to go do a couple pickup shots, that's good news uh, because that means hopefully we're getting closer and closer to a potential trailer at some point, which would be awesome. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I think with, you know, Res Evil Village coming out soon and all the showcases and all that stuff already passed, I feel like we we would have got a teaser or something from the movie on, uh, you know, on March 22nd, but we didn't. So now I think it's just up in the air and we'll probably get something closer to the end of the year or like maybe late summer. But uh, I'm sure if we don't get a teaser beforehand or a trailer beforehand, I'm, I imagine I'm thinking timeline wise, maybe we'll get a trailer, you know, in the summertime, hopefully like July or something like that. And then uh, around time or maybe August even, but around the time Venom comes out, uh, then that's a Sony movie and Resident Evil is going to be distributed by Sony. So that'd be cool to get a second trailer at the front of Venom for Resident Evil. And then that would put us closer to, you know, November. So I don't know. I'm, I, I'm trying to figure out the timeline, but of course, because of COVID and all the other things going on in the world, it's hard to really figure out this stuff and then figure out a, a real timeline. We can always go off of what things used to be like, but we're not in those times anymore. So it'll be really interesting to see if we get a trailer or a teaser anytime uh, in the near future. But either way, this gives us at least uh, an idea that they are in the point where they're doing a couple pickup shots and reshoots, which means they realize what little things they need to add to the movie to kind of complete it. Um, so I'm excited for that. Uh, so that's very cool. So let me know what you think of this information down in the comments below. And when you think we might get a teaser trailer or something like that, normally I shy away from that on the Venom vlog, but that's because we've been talking about trailers and stuff for over a year on the Venom vlog. Here, we're just now kind of starting to talk about that kind of stuff. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and, uh, and also your thoughts on the reshoots. Let me know down below as well. And we'll continue our conversation as always down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you all in the future. Peace.